Hello everyone, welcome back to the Coach's Desk with uh, your host, Coach Minzi. Yes, people, and we really appreciate the love and the support over here that uh, we have been getting, and we really appreciate it, man. Yes, um, big up to the new subscribers who have subscribed to the channel. I'm certain that um, you will definitely enjoy the uh, movement as we go forward. Also, to the persons who have been with us for a, a, a period of time, really appreciate you sticking with us and i'm sure that you have not been uh you know <laughs> sad by making that decision to hit the subscribe button yeah man so people we have an exclusive that we want to share with you as we normally do when we hear these news we definitely uh try as best as possible to put it out there so that um you will be informed and you're kept in the know you know what i mean because um if sometimes we rely on we rely on the mainstream media to give us these bit of information it will <laughs> it will take a while so let's get into it people coach's desk has been reliably informed that assistant coach of the reggae boys jerome wade has allegedly lost his job in other words he has been fired yes interesting um everybody knows uh what transpired and if you don't know let me tell you uh, Mr. Mr. Wade did an, an interview with, with, with one of the um, mainstream media outlet and he also did another one with another outlet so he did two interviews but I think the one that uh, gathered traction was the one that he did on a particular program a very popular program on a particular station so he went on and he spoke some stuff so some of the stuff that he spoke of are, are things that um the public possibly would have known or would have been thinking on that line um that the he, 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 it is alleged that he said that um the team is not being picked by the coach it is being picked by the jamaica football federation and he went on and he spoke on a number of other issues or several issues now some persons say that he he should have been a bit more diplomatic in his response or responses to the questions that were asked of him but um many also said that it was a matter of uh frustration but i mean in in certain capaci capacities um you have to learn how to you know have what you called self what you call self-control so on that premise he was summoned to a meeting yes he was summoned to a meeting and from all indication we learned that <laughs> yes all indication that um he was brought into the meeting and the matters came up and he was to defend himself himself on the matter and based on what was out there how much could he defend himself so like i said we understand or we learned according to our sources that he was relieved of his duties and a matter of fact two coaches were on the short list i mean but one other coach got the job we understand that meron gordon uh, would have been the person that is selected to uh, replace coach Jerome Waite. So that is a situation at the, well, the coaching situation at the Jamaica Football Federation. So, I mean, it's, it's a situation that, <laughs> uh, boy, I mean, you know, as I said in a, in a, in a other video, you know, when, when this thing came out, you know, uh, another coach friend of mine we were talking and, and he was saying that something is brewing 
and um, at the end of the day the, the, the assistant is going to, 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 to get the blame for all the things that transpired you know and he, 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 he made reference to that message that he sent me in the conversation and he said you see I told you that everything is going to be turned to the assistant coach and like a prophet <laughs> uh, it came to pass so I mean no mainstream media persons would have broken this news to date so let's see what will transpire after this video goes out so you know what I mean people so this is this is how it is right now um, a new assistant coach and of course yes we know that Paul all um, on a part-time basis has also been um, you know selected to assist coach Theodore Whitmore so it's, it's, it's it, it has been a long time coming and um, <laughs> long time coming we also learn people that <laughs> coach Whitmore coach Whitmore coach Whitmore is not pleased with what is happening right now I'll just leave it at that coach Whitmore is not pleased with what is happening right now from what we have learned so let's see how this thing will go people um he all remember he said you know if these off the field things are not sorted out what are the expectations of the team if the off the field issues are not sorted out these things need to be sorted out people it, it can't be a case where we constantly have these things coming up before we go into major competitions major tournaments you know what I mean so these things need to be sorted out we, 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 we have high hopes for the team you know what I mean high hopes for the team and we're expecting them to do well we, we are even calling for them to win the World Cup that's how confident we are based on the, the, some of the players that we would have acquired but again if the off the field situations aren't sorted out then we should be in a little issue and as I normally say proper preparation prevents poor performance people thanks for tuning in what are your thoughts on this debacle that has uh, transpired with coach Jerry yeah man share your comments down below in the comment section thanks for tuning in people peace out